A windy afternoon brings back painful memories. It's hard to talk about it. I even hate thinking about it. Yeah. He said, well, we'll drive a tractor in the shed because it's going to rain or hail or something like that. I said, oh, I'll leave it set out. We, we should go. And if we would have left right away, we wouldn't have been here. But Justin Metzger and his father were there when a tornado ripped their farm apart August 24, 2006. The wind was blowing so hard, you couldn't, you know, you couldn't see. It was just like a wall of water in front. It was a tractor like this one that saved Justin's life nearly nine months ago. But this is the replacement structure. The building he was hiding in that day was completely destroyed. It was like a nightmare. I mean, you come out and your house is gone. Justin's wife, Jessica, and their two little girls weren't home when the disaster struck. Instead, they returned to the aftermath. It was a mess, and I didn't see anything. Finally, beginning one week ago, things seemed somewhat back to normal. They just moved into their new house, but now it's time to face another challenge, planting. And that's where Farm Rescue comes in. We like to think that we fill the gap, take the, the burden off some of the neighbors and the family. In its second year, founder Bill Gross says Farm Rescue could help as many as 15 temporarily sidelined farmers plant up to 1,000 acres each, free of charge. The Metzgers are the first to receive this generous donation. That means less time in the field for a family still recovering. What they're going to do even in 24 hours, you know, uh, it would probably take us a week. 10 days. But Farm Rescue will help sustain their livelihood this planting season so the Metzgers can continue to sustain their life. In Eureka, for NBC North Dakota News, I'm Joanna Small.